Hey, Jane. Hi, Jake. Let's talk about how I almost killed you over this canyon crossing. Why would anyone have any objection to something in a game <laughs> as, as lovely as this area? <laughs> so originally, when we first built this whole canyon, you can only walk through the uh, bottom where the creek is. It looks, it looks really lovely when you're walking along the bottom looking up. Mm -hmm. And, and you it, cannot get close to anything You can just here. imagine yeah, what the top of the by. canyon looks like and you don't ever have to see it or make it. Mm -hmm. Here's Peter going straight, here. straight through if, this rock wall. Like, think about this though, what if you could walk across the top of it and look down and then we built all of that too? <laughs> I just remember the day when you uh, mocked this out in the paper map and just gingerly just showed it to me. And then I looked at it and I was like, like what's that no. line? What's that line doing going over there? No that... way. No way, Jake. <laughs> there was no way I was gonna win that. I mean, I I, I ended up just building a lot of it myself to and try then, yeah, and, and I think you were like, okay, uh, how about this other thing? I was like, okay, this other thing is fine, but this is definitely not happening. <laughs> I just secretly built a million walls and trees and like yeah. did every single thing that I possibly could to like to make yeah. it so but you would look at it. You did a good job though, because like the thing I was really worried about was when you're up there, you end up seeing um, basically the whole length of the canyon and then also all the way to um, basically towards Delilah's tower which means it's like right, way, all the way like, through like yeah. the Beartooth Point it would be like way too much game to try to draw mule point yeah yeah, so yeah that exactly was the, that was the original sort of you know it was a lot fear. of very careful like then you go around this turn yeah. and then you secretly drop down three feet and a bunch yeah. of huge trees come up I was very happy that we were able to get the canyon yeah. crossing in because it's it's one of the few places where I think you do a total figure eight over yourself. Yeah. Yeah. It was nice that you managed to uh, problem solve all the sight line areas before <laughs> I lose my lose my mind. <laughs> Thanks for not killing me. I'm I'm alive to be on this commentary track. Five minute creek. Where? Yeah. It's right there. I guess we go around and. Is this the right way? Uh. No. No, it is not. That's weird. I just walk through a rock. Um, this is the way right. Uh, and there's the metal. Well, I guess we just keep going in town. So if you go in across here, then we'll take a right and go down that way. I believe this is the way. But just for the heck of it, let's check my map. Um, not quite there yet. Or maybe I am, I don't know. No, definitely not. Okay, let's, let's find that way. Yeah, here we go. Going down. Going down.
gonna do when the fire season wraps up? Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents... I, uh, think they always thought she could do better. And that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. And the circle of life. Alright, so let's go this way. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Yeah, I think there's a trophy for doing something here. Just not sure what entirely. I'll go check. Yeah, so I hope this is the right way. Let's check. Uh, fuck. Yeah, I think that's the right way. Yeah, the trophy I was thinking of is for listening to a tape of Old Shoshone. Or Old Shoshone. Yeah, that song that had the lyrics we picked up. I think we have to listen to it in the Aspen Grove. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. Wait, what? Um... Red ways. I, 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 I don't, I don't... What, what, what? That's, that's Henry. Why... Why, why, why am I looking at him? Girls love a skinny dipping. I bet they're nearby. Maybe this will tell me about. Hi, this is Ollie again. And this is Syndra. I worked as a character artist. One of the most important things about this game, from our point of view, was to try and get the player to kind of inhabit this character, Henry. And a big part of that was his character design. Um, we wanted him to be a little different to the regular kind of character you might expect from this kind of game. Um, he's a little older, a little more portly, and uh, we wanted to make sure that, you know, when you look down, you can see your body and you really, like, feel as if you are playing this character. Um, Doesn't really look important. Do that, I designed him from the point of view of, like, trying to make him feel like an older man in terms of the way he moved and looked. We use a lot of, um, I guess, reference for this, particularly uh, comedian Louis C.K. Was <laughs> one that we yeah. Had, yeah, had I had like back a, to. I had like a mood board uh, that I made. That's just essentially just like a collage of yeah, Louis C.K. and there was also a fair bit of like uh, Wreck-It Ralph and like the heavy from Team Fortress. Sort of like these, sort of like these heavy, uh, sort of slow moving characters. So actually, when I was modeling, uh, I would actually put like a camera in Henry's head so I could look down at his body, which is like. <laughs> I think most of the designed characters for third-person games and mobile and stuff like that, I was not used to, you know, designing anything from that perspective. The initial model I sent you guys was 
pretty much just a bunch of primitives uh, mashed together, like really rough, sort of like, you know, early... Early Dreamcast 3D kind of looking stuff, uh, just to get like a feel for the, you know, just proportions and to give James something to rig so he could just get something moving and kind of get a preview of the motion skills. You know, you don't need like a fully formed, highly detailed 3D model to just do animation. Uh, so actually nailing that stuff on early on was really important, I think. One of the biggest focuses was the hands, because those are the things that the player sees the most, and they're the most sort of expressive. Mm. So we wanted to make sure that the shapes were really um, simple and bold and evocative in order to allow James, our animator, to kind of give him the best material to work with. Portray the character through those through the motions. Yeah, they're they're practically the main character. All right, all right. It's just it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. Yeah, uh, really there is a trophy for filming this camera up with yeah, me pictures. So we could probably do that. And now, let's, uh, let's go pay that raccoon visit. Thank you so much. Tuxedos as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. Mm, good to know, Dale, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... Hmm. I got a broken nose. It's not bad or anything, but yeah. How'd you do that? Your illustrious boxing career? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> no, I, a guy was drunk and jumped on my back, and I slipped and ate a parking meter. Ish. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. They're, uh, they're steely. Cold, hard stare. Hmm. Like a Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Okay. Let's just take this board and totally forget what she said. I didn't need a couple more boards, I just need one. I don't really said something about that before. Oh, I don't know. Let's just board it that window and forget about it. Nice job, Henry. Way to go, dude. Uh -huh, yeah. I yeah, good to meet you. You are. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. I've got a better idea. I'm going to... Go up to Beartooth Point, find the cabin, and say hello to the raccoon. Is this the right way? Uh, no, it is not. So what I want to do is actually get here. We take the left in this route, which is this one.
Um, here we go. Cool. Okay, so drop to me over here. So, so we gotta go through the cave. Um, um, so yes. Hi, this is Jane again. And Chris. And we are right by the outhouse. And this is also where we decided to put the generator that Henry has to use for the power. To make it as annoying as possible for him <laughs> when he's using the facilities. So normally I think the generator is not usually by the outhouse. Usually it's actually under the tower where it would be you know, more convenient. But we decided to put it there because um, it's usually more interesting for mm -hmm. gameplay if you no, really cluster a few objects of way. interest together so it's not just super spread out. It ended up being a real challenge for audio because most of the time when you're in the tower you don't want to hear the generator because it would just get annoying and repetitive. But there were certain times, like mm -hmm. when you first arrive at the tower and you flip the power switch on and the generator goes on, you want the player to hear the generator, so it needs to be much louder, but then you don't want them to like walk down the stairs and the generator's incredibly loud. So I had to do all this weird cheating, basically, to cheat the level of the generator audio volume, depending yeah. on what the game needs it to be. Yeah. Also, funny story about the generator. So you found yes. this like classic generator model. I think it's called a Genero Generis, generator. I think. Yeah, it's, it's something like that. Basically, I based it off of this real generator, but, you know, to not infringe on anyone's brand name, I just changed it a little bit, and I was like, ha, 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 funny, I would just call it generic. And then we actually heard from someone we know who <laughs> works for the real generator company. Uh, he was telling us that he, when he saw that in the game, it cracked him up because at the that actual company, when they're, like, frustrated... <laughs> at their own product if something is like not doing its job they actually call it generic generator <laughs> jane managed to we nailed it like completely nail the insider terminology for this classic generator thank you jane uh so yeah we'll keep going north and uh i don't remember exactly where the cabin is i'm sure i'll find it right So we'll just uh, keep going up this way. And uh, yeah, we're almost there. Um, Secret D3. Okay. So let's see this couple. This few. Wood cleaning gear. Okay, yeah, that was uh, Brian Goodwin's bag. But forget about that because 